six five minute rounds. Two balls, two submissions are knocked down to the side. Between in the right corner, Jeff K. And in the blue corner, from Surface Paradise, Brisbane, Australia, will you welcome Sharky Wood. And ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you, his colourful and attractive Maori wife. It is my, my honor. Give her a big welcome now. And ladies and gentlemen, your official for this evening. Timekeeper, Mr. Albert Turner of Essex. Your third man tonight, that five-star referee. Will you welcome Mr. Joan Derezio. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you, and welcome to the Cliffs Pavilion here in West Cliff on Sea. And we're glad you joined us for a very special bill here this afternoon. An international catchweight contest starts the proceedings. Jeff Kay, of, uh, uh, formerly of Hull, now residing in Leeds at 13 stone, and he meets this giant from uh, near Brisbane, Australia, Sharky Ward from Surface Paradise at 18 stone. His first appearance ever in this country. His first visit to these shores, in fact. Sharky Ward in the, in the leotard and the shaven head. Referee Joe Dorazio could be having a little problems here because already he has just come from uh, fighting all the major heavyweights in uh, America and Canada. So he'll be quite used to all in wrestling rules, which of course do not apply in the UK. Adding to that, he's fighting a man who is much lighter than he is by five stone. So Jeff Kay's got a problem here today. Jeff Kay can uh, keep this up, it'll be something that I didn't expect, but he's in a backhand of trouble now. <laughs> As the Australian smooths that hair up. Typical <laughs> Kay can't be from the interlock finger, it moves very nice indeed, considering the weight he's got against him. In the last round, the head scissors can't be. As for those powerful legs, I'm afraid there is no way, possibly, unless Jeff K fools him, and he probably could do that. That might be it. No. Yes. <laughs> And he said no way. There was a way, but it was going uh, to be pretty neat and fast. Punch. Unsighted referee, of course. And it, watching for it this time. Well, we can see his style right from the start. Here's the man that really knows he's a punch, Jeff K. Two minutes to go, round one. And it's a six, five minute round contest. Two falls to the side. Look at him up then! Oh, that's right across the, the nose, or the right eye, I think. 
So the rats are now a bit worried about these um, little moves on the inside. And his gloves. Yes, and Kay, Kay shows him exactly what he's been getting. <laughs> like all of them, he doesn't like it when it's done back to him. So the knuckles again on that left eye brow. Looking for the top rope straight here. No. Just a minute now to go in this first round. And Jeff K now at least knows what to expect from this big man. Jeff Kay, top wheel. Oh, what a check got him. <laughs> no, he doesn't like that a bit. That left eye of Cage is going to cause him trouble. He's had a couple of punches at it. More on the posting. Just 12 seconds to go now in round one. And Cage coming back with the upper cut forearms. Yes, the second one gets him. <laughs> right on the bell of round one. I'm sure most Battle fans know Jeff Kay very well, but so let's have a look at uh, Sharky Ward from Surface Paradise, which is on the Gold Coast of Queensland near Brisbane. 18 stone of hand. He's wrestled all the top heavyweights in the United States and Australia. His wife, Mama, Mama Rioa, I hope I pronounced that, directs the sanguine exactly. Our Queen Sarati, Tonga, who came out over here, if you remember, for the Queen's uh, coronation. That lovely Queen Solotia. Well, this is direct descendant of his wife. Mamma Roa. I think that's how she pronounces the name. Anyway, round two, five to go, and no score. Jeff K doing well, giving away five stone here. His big man Sharky Ward. And Sharky Ward, the one with the shaven head and in the leotard. And the follow-up of the feet, which of course gets a public warning and quite rightly so. Ladies and gentlemen, in round two, the referee awards a public warning to Shockey Wall. So the first public warning against Ward in round two. But still a grin on his face as he thinks he's got this sewn up, giving Kay a great deal of trouble here. I'm glad that Tarazio decided to give an early warning to this man because he really can't be allowed to continue with this stuff. Not in the United Kingdom. and why shouldn't we be? Use of the hair, and double handed wrist lever to Ward. <laughs> so 
just stuff himself. And this following up and getting a little too much, and Valencia is going to surely dish out another puppy for him. That goes on. Well, three very definite punches to the pen, and Kay really a bit mad about that. All right, wow. He's got about 90 seconds now. Let's see if we can do something to level that up. Just a minute left now in the second round. Still no score, just one public corner against Ward. And Kay in a bit of trouble there, that left eye now. Now it's the right eye this time, I think, as he gets up off the canvas to take some more of the set. I like this Australian very much. Keeps turning this man back to the referee so he can't spot it, of course. 15 seconds to go. Trying to whip him, gets the half Nelson throw on him. But he won't have time to do much. He's only got three or four seconds. <laughs> Jeff Kay allowed that little retaliation, which I'm surprised, especially in the interval, just really lost his pull there. Jeff Kay from Hull, originally, who now resides in Leeds. Second away, round three. Round three, four rounds to go, still no score. One public warning against Sharky Ward from Australia. In the Leotard there, there's a shaven head. Why doesn't he get him up? He's been doing an awful lot of shouting and an awful lot of falling. Four Nelson now killed. But he breaks that quite easily. Now, uh, maybe K will find a little harder. looking for a possible submission there but uh oh! the butt gets oh and he just missed with the drop kick the fellow went back seeing it coming but i don't think it touched it might have just touched but not any damage there just the toes maybe the heels severed in the line the moment if only you could get a pinfall this crowd will go haywire doing well uh, 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 until that sort of thing happens the punch to the stomach Too powerful for Jeff Kay, I'm afraid. It's not Jeff Kay, Kay's style of wrestling at all. This. He likes the fast action stuff with a light man. And that's what he's very good at. <laughs> the body check almost worked. Oh, no, take him around and caught the ropes. Ay, 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 ay. He tried to save himself going out into the front row ringsides, and he's caught badly there. And that neck, he's going to feel that neck for a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, what a pity. 
doing so well to stand up to this man, so much heavier than himself. But that could be the end of it now. Let's see what the referee says. Yes, letting him go, but he won't last long. Our next stretch will do it. That's all the submission he wants. Yep, that's it. So the first submission to Ward in just two minutes, 35 seconds of round three. I doubt if he can go on after that, looking at him. Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 34 seconds of round three, the first submission in favor, Shocky Ward. So the way he got it, I don't think he be, should be that happy about it. Anyway, he's one submission up with halfway through the bout. Round four coming up any second if K comes out for it. Right away, round four. Three to go as we start round four. Now, Kay just getting up off the canvas. One submission down. Referee not sure at all. He's looking again. No, he's not. No, he won't allow it. He won't allow it. So, the, the bite stopped on a technical knockout in just 12 or 13 seconds of the fourth round. And the reason that the big man is over here, of course, Sharky, is to meet Wayne Bridges next Wednesday at the Albert Hall in a World Series of Eliminators. That's what his reason for coming over to this country. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff K unable to continue. The referee shot for contest. The winner on a technical knockout.